To add a dependency for Maven, we double click the palm.xml file. Then navigate to the palm.xml tab. Let's break down this file. The project element defines the basic schema settings. Model version contains the model version of the project object model. Here are the details after creating this project. Group ID, artifact ID, version, name, and description. Now let's add the dependencies element by clicking control space, navigate to dependencies, and the description shows this element describes all of the dependencies associated with the project. For starters, we know our project will depend on Selenium and it will depend on TestNG. The advantage of a pump.xml file is to bypass downloading the jars, then configuring the build path to include those jars. Some people perform that same process over and over whenever their project requires updated JAWS. With this pom.xml file, all we do is click Control Space, navigate to Insert Dependencies, type Selenium, and we see a list of options. Expand Selenium Java, then select the version. 3.141.5. We see group ID, artifact ID, version, and scope is compiled. Click OK. Then we click Save. Maven dependencies show Selenium Java 3.141.5 JAWS. We can always update the version number. Highlight the version number and click Control Space. Then select a different version, Selenium 4 Alpha 6. Watch what happens when I click Save. Automatically, Maven dependencies show Selenium 4 JAWS. Let's add the test ng dependency, which is a test framework for Java. This time, we are going to Maven's repository and search for test ng. Select test ng. I'm going to use the last six version, 6.14.3. After selecting the version, we copy the dependency. Go back to Eclipse and paste the dependency. We also have to add the compiler plugin for Maven. Go back to Maven's repository then search for compiler plugin and select it. The most recent version is 3.8.1. Copy the group ID, artifact ID, and version. I did not select dependency because it's really a plugin. Go back to Eclipse. And after dependencies, we click Control Space, select Build, Control Space again, select Plugins. For the last time, we click Control Space, then Plugin, and Paste. Control Shift F, format this palm.xml file. Let me show you something else. Do you see how JRE system library show Java SE10? We must add the release after the version. Control space, configuration. Control space for the last time and select release. Then enter 10 and save. The purpose of Mavis compiler plugin is to compile the sources of our project. Now, let's start with creating a test script. We go to SRC Test Java. Right click, New Class. Class is Google Title Test. 
web driver, driver, at test annotation, public void. My bad, I apologize, my phone reader was on. Test, Google title. That's one of those things when you're doing stuff live. Import web driver, and I apologize again. Import test ng annotation. Now we're going to write system dot set property. Key is web driver dot chrome dot driver. The value will be the path location. Copy. Chrome driver.exe, go back to Eclipse and paste. Remove the extra double quotes and the forward slash, and I'm going to remove the last backward slash and write driver equals new Chrome driver import chrome driver driver dot manage dot window dot maximize driver dot get will load the page https colon two forward slashes www dot google dot com now let's print the page title. Sys out page title. Driver dot get title. And we're going to finish with driver dot quit. Let me run through this one more time because I know my phone ringer is wrong. And let me just recap. We're going to set the property for Chrome Driver. Create a new Chrome driver, maximize the window, load the Google search page, print the title, and quit the driver. We can always run this test by clicking the green arrow, but let's run this test as a Maven test. Also, let me update the project by right clicking Maven Update Project and click OK. Now let's run this test as a Maven project by right clicking, go to run as Maven test. One more thing I want to show you. Notice how the target folder is empty. Maven test. In the console, we see page title, Google. Test run, one, no failures, no errors, and nothing to skip. Now let's open the target folder. And it has data. That's it for running the test as a Maven test, executing our first project, also adding the Selenium and test ng dependencies. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And Test NG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.